For member statements today, we will hear from the members for the districts of Exploits, Topsail Paradise, Torngat Mountains, Stephenville Port of Port, Terra Nova, and Waterford Valley. The Honourable the Member for Exploits. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise in this Honourable House today to recognize four members of Sister Lions Clubs, Bishop Falls and Botwood in the District of Exploits. Lions Robert Shepard and Joe Thomas of Bishop Falls were recently presented with their 50-year service pins and certificates, while Lions Lynn Woolridge and Walter Lee of Botwood were presented with the Melvin Jones Fellows Award for dedicated humanitarian services. These Lions, as do their Lions colleagues, exemplify community service, selflessness, and their motto, we serve, and have always been at the forefront of any community concern where their help is needed. Mr. Speaker, I ask all honorable members to join with me in the delivery of congratulations and a well-earned Lions roar for Lions Robert Shepard, Joe Thomas, Len Woolridge, and Walter Lee. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Topsail Paradise. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I rise today to recognize 15-year-old Alexa Tobin of Paradise, who was recently named Newfoundland and Labrador Soccer Association Junior Female Official of the Year for 2018. Alexa, an excellent student and sports advocate, has received many accomplishments, including Junior Female Athlete of the Year for 2018 for Holy Spirit School, second runner-up for Junior Female Athlete of the Year for the Town of Paradise. Alexa trains year-round with the under-16 provincial team and has been on the provincial team for the past five years. She trains three days a week with her club team and two days a week as part of the Vancouver Whitecaps Academy Prospects uh, Group, an elite uh, invite-only training program, and was only one of seven female players to, in her age, from Newfoundland and Labrador to be chosen for this distinction, one which she has spent three years at. Alexa is a very dedicated to her teams and teammates and shows good sportsmanship off the field as well. She is a consistent, positive example for what it means to be a team player. Mr. Speaker, I ask all honorable members to join me in congratulating Alexa Tobin on her many accomplishments, and in particular, uh, Newfoundland and Labrador Soccer Association Junior Female Official 2018. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Torngat Mountains. Here, here, here. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in this House to recognize the remarkable accomplishments of a young man from the community of Postville in New Netsavut, Northern Labrador. Mr. Speaker, Bronson Jock is not only an accomplished artist, but also boasts surprising athletic abilities. Bronson will represent Canada after winning the 2019 Power, Canadian Powerlifting Union's Best Prince Competitions in Ottawa. Mr. Jock is 24 years old and weighs 178 pounds. He competed in three categories, the squat competition, the bench press, and the deadlift, where he lifted a combined weight of 1,482 pounds. This accomplishment earned him the gold medal and the right to represent Canada at the Commonwealth Games to be held in St. John's later this year. Mr. Speaker, I would be remiss if I didn't mention his remarkable artistic talent. His ability is so great that in many comparisons, one cannot tell the difference between a photo and a painting. Quite an accomplishment for a young man from the tiny Inuit community of Postville. I ask all honorable members to join me in congratulating Bronson on his national achievement and wish him well in representing our province and our country on the international stage. Here, here, here. The honorable member for Stephenville, Port of Port. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. With over 1.4 million members and 47,000 clubs serving in over 200 countries, Lions Club International is the world's largest service organization. The hard work of its dedicated and passionate volunteers and communities throughout our province is truly remarkable, and the club in Steve Mill is no exception. Just a few short years ago in 2014, the Steve Mill Lions Club was named one of the top five Lions Club in the country. Yesterday, the Steve Mill Lions celebrated their charter evening for 67 years of service and the Lionesses Club for its 66 years of service. Reaching this significant milestone was only possible as a result of its founding members, and last night, two of them were on hand for the celebration. Eric Lomond, at the young age of 91, who still volunteers with the Lions, 
was acknowledged for 55 years of service. And Manette Shave of the Lionesses, who also still volunteers, was acknowledged for her 66 years of service. Mr. Speaker, it is these extraordinary volunteers who have given over half a century of their time volunteering that are a testament to the Lions model we serve and are a true inspiration to us all. I ask all members to join me in congratulating the Stephen Lions Club on, and the Lioness Club on their success. Thank you. Bravo. The Honourable Member for the District of Terranova. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in this Honourable House to acknowledge the nominees and recipients of the Clarenville Area Chamber of Commerce 12th Annual Business Awards of Excellence and Hall of Fame Induction Ceremony. Of the many initiatives which the Chamber leads each year, the Business Awards Gala is one of its signature events. For 2018, three individuals were inducted into the Business Hall of Fame. Mr. and Mrs. Kay and Ern Warren, a husband and wife team, who in 1974 became local representatives of Steers Insurance, a business which still exists in the community today. Mr. Stanley Fleming, born in Portugal Cove, moved to Clarenville in 1967 to open the Andy Handy store. Mr. Fleming operated this store for 38 years before retiring in 2005. During the awards banquet, three additional awards were given out recognizing business excellence in the community. Business of, of the Year, Law Firm of Mills, Pittman and Twine, Small Business of the Year, Craig's Locksmithing and Autoglass, and the Corwin Mills Community Cares Award went to Power to Hope. Mr. Speaker, I ask all honorable members to join me in congratulating the winners of the 2018 Business Awards of Excellence and Hall of Fame Induction Ceremony. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. The Honorable the Member for Waterford Valley, who will confirm he has leave, please. So I uh, ask leave of uh, members of the House, Mr. Thank Mr. You. Speaker. Thank you. Please proceed, sir. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, I rise uh, in the Honorable House today to address the passing of a pillar of our community, Mr. Tom McGraw. Throughout his adult life, Tom was known for his involvement in political uh, politics, both provincially and federally. He was never daunted by any task at hand, always willing to take on the challenge and exceed expectations. He will be remembered for his leadership roles with the Duke of Edinburgh program, St. Bonaventure's College, Gonzaga High School, and the cadet movement. Mr. Speaker, if there was one thing that's been constant throughout his life, it's ensuring that youth were provided with a voice. Tom had a great ability to recognize a skill set and encourage youth to reach their potential. He lived by the philosophy installed, instilled in him at Gonzaga. He was a Viking to the core, a man for others. Tonight, the Gonzaga community celebrates the life of Tom McGraw through stories and song. This celebration will take place at St. Pius, the 10th Church Parish Hall at 7 p.m. Mr. Speaker, I ask all members to join me in paying tribute to a wonderful individual who made a valuable contribution not only to his community but to the, but to the political process in this province. Thank you. Thank you.